evening. It's Thursday morning and the week's almost over and we've been talking about family all week and how to love one another and what to do about resolving conflict and all those things and today we're just going to be talking about encouraging one another to love. Encouraging one another to love. And we've already talked about love a good bit and what that looks like and making sure that we have that in our homes and teaching our children how to guard their relationships with one another. Um, but in, in uh, Hebrews 10, verse 24, it says, uh, it says, Let us hold fast the convictions of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how, how we can stir one another up to love and good works. You know, sometimes we just stir one another up, don't we? We just stir one another up. But this says to actually stir one another up to love, to love one another, to help each other love one another. And then it says for helpful deeds and then noble activities. So are we concerned about those in our family relationships that we are spending time encouraging one another in those ways? Encouraging one another to love as we love each other, but teaching, hoping that they'll love other people. And then we're stirring us each other up, uh, pushing each other on maybe to good deeds, to good deeds that glorify the Lord Jesus Christ and noble activities and noble activities. Are we as concerned about the other fella as we are about our own selves? I think that's what we're saying. Are you concerned about them and making sure that they are being encouraged to love as you're being encouraged to love? Now, one of the things we have to do if we're going to be that way is we have to be two very good forgivers. I remember when we were first married, Hank went and was talking to one of the pastors on our staff who'd been married for a long, long, long time, uh, probably 40 years or more. And I remember him talking to, to him and asking him, what makes a good marriage? Because we've only been married a few months. And he said, oh, Hank, two very good forgivers. So as we walk this way, as we're encouraging one another to love, as we're not being angry with one another, but we're loving one another and communicating in a godly way, even in conflict, we're communicating in a godly way that honors the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we do that, we stir one another up to love, to love, to, for good deeds and noble activities. I pray that your home this week will be a place where there are lots of good deeds and lots of love and encouragement for noble activities. So have a great day and God bless you. We'll see you in the morning.